what's going on we are back once again we got our night shift going on for you in just a little bit we got charlotte and huntington beach for our main event of the evening two of our better teams into the fold season zero beta bowl rematch back at it again and i can't wait to see this one gets kick started when you are ready uh but just make sure you like and subscribe do what you need to do to get on the field show some love to all of our affiliates shout out to hollywood sports Shout out to Sports Universe on our Discord side. Shout out to the Homes and Access football team putting out such a great game, getting better each and every patch. Shout out to our Sim League affiliate, um, Great One Hockey Sim League, also known as Goals, doing their thing on the ice. We're on the gridiron. They're on the ice doing their thing. And outside of that, just make sure you join onto the field. We're closing in on a lot of things. We're closing in on 200 total players created. We're closing in on 3,000 views on YouTube. A whole bunch of it, um, impressions. I forgot the number on that one, but we got plenty of them. I appreciate each and every one of you for doing that. Um, and shout out to all the homies. Uh, we got a lot of things going on here. We're trying our best. And yeah, let's go ahead and get this one kick started in just a little bit. I have pretty much everything all set up and ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and flip over to the prediction side of things. Three out of four, uh, three out of four of our developers are leaning towards the home team, Huntington Beach. But on the other side, we got Danny. He's the lonesome. He said he's going. He said uh, Charlotte's going to pull this one out right now. Huntington Beach has as the barely the underdogs in regards to the predictions. Not sure how that's going to work out here because uh, right now Huntington Beach is one of our hotter teams in the game. And they probably produced probably the greatest game in USFA history um, in a bad way for them, though, since because they were the losers in that game. But on the other side, you can say the exact same thing. Charlotte, they had two chances, actually, no, three chances in the last five minutes of their last game and found a way to lose. So one of those two teams from last week is going to have to get up on one of the other. So there's only one way to figure out who's going to come out with it. Without further ado, let's hit that play game button. I'm all ready to go. If you're ready to go, let's get this one kick started for you. And I can't wait to see what goes down in this one. A lot of big names here. Um, Charlotte, they got their man's uh they got their man's locket. And on the other side, they got TJ Hendricks. Whichever one's gonna come through is gonna be the big dogs here. And it's gonna be on that blue field, that luscious blue field. We're in the deep blue field, whatever you want to call it. And see right there, the ad right there. Shout out to Two Hype, I suppose. Uh, but it's going to be Kickflip sending this one away to Charlotte. We are here in Huntington Beach, ready for our next game as Dustin Johnson takes that one to the 20-yard line. And it's going to be first and 10 coming up here for the Royals. Looking to come up with the upset. There's going to be a three wide out set to start this one off. They're going to give it to that man, DeAndre Henry. He's not going anywhere. There goes Squiggly Peels. Nice tackle on the backfield. Actually going to get him right up the line of scrimmage. First uh, first carries, no go. But still plenty of game left. Second and 10 coming up. Hendricks passing this one right side. Not finding the man. And it's going to be third and 10 on this next play. And off, then DeAndre Henry is going to get around five on the play. Not enough for the first down. And Charlotte's going to have to concede, concede this one. Moving back to Huntington Beach for the first time. And it's going to be Lockett and the gang looking for some points and to look for the victory. It's going to be Quavers taking this one left side past the 30. And it's going to be first and 10 coming up here for Huntington Beach in their first attempt to get some points on the board. They got Possibly the greatest, well, not the greatest, but the great player in the backfield in action. Jackson is going to be falling forward to about the 37-yard line. But if there's anybody that has a chance to be the greatest USFA player of all time, it's that man in the backfield. So you better watch out for him. Action Jackson. Jackson about that action. Pass left side. is going to be Frederick Kaiser, another player there that you got to keep your eye on. It's first and 10 after that play. And it's going to move the chains. We're closing in on midfield. 
first and ten again. Handoff Jackson, not getting around that defender. is going to be Fisher on the tackle. And it's going to set up second and 11 coming up. Lock it passing again. Right side's open. Caught by Vanilla Mega trying to juke move. Getting him inside the 40. And that's first and 10. Huntington Beach on the move. Trying to keep this drive going. 15-yard gain on that play. Good job. Action Jackson once again stacked up. There goes Hensley on the tackle. Second and 11 hitting the backfield. And that's going to make it to the 39-yard line. It's going to be a four-wide out set here. We still have Action Jackson in the backfield. They're going to give it to him on the, on the misdirection. Going to get around three on the play. Setting up third and seven. And off notes, a fake to lock it. Left side, going to be Vanilla Megatron. Going to get around three on the play. It's going to be fourth and four coming up. Kick is going to be up from kick flip. Kick is going to be good from kick flip for 49 yards. And that's going to be the first points on the day in favor of the home team. Already halfway through the first. And Charlotte does get the stop they need to at least hold them to three. So they could take solace in that. They're doing a pretty solid job on that drive in regards to slowing down that man, Action Jackson. If they could keep it up, they'll have a chance. And Dustin Johnson takes that pass the 20 to the 24-yard line. And here comes take number two here for the Royals. Hand off here, Denry taking that up the middle for about four. And that's going to be second and six coming up. Charlotte doesn't have a, a, light, a lightness in uh, talent either. Pass right side, there goes Baker. First down yardage erased by the holding penalty, unfortunate from Charlotte. But it's going to be second and 16 after that play. But uh, like I was saying with Charlotte, they have their solid group of uh, – Playmakers there, too. Got to watch out for Dustin Johnson along with De uh, DeAndre Henry in the backfield. Hendricks, the quarterback, right side, and that's going to be a drop there. That's going to be third and 16. Looking for the conversion. Watch out for Johnson. Hendricks going to toss it to the middle of the field, and that's another drop there. So two straight drops. By Charlotte's receivers is going to force the punt. Huntington Beach is going to get this ball back. Looking for a place to pin them. Morrison sending this one away past the 20. Sorry, past the 35 to around the 33. Quavers takes that to the 41. And that's going to be first and 10 Huntington Beach. And some more solid field range. Field, um, yeah, field range. Field um, position. And they're looking to convert here, keep the driver moving. A first down will get them into Charlotte territory. They're going to look for that now. And that's going to be deflected by that um, defender. Nice job there. I believe that was Johnson Dotson on the play. Second and 10. Their first incompletion right there. Nick Lockett looking to keep the passes moving. It's going to be passing it again. Nice blocking there and nice defense there by Charlotte once again in that passing game. Two in a row after going Three for three to start it out. Two incompletions in a row. A four wide out set here for Huntington Beach is going to be pass number three. It's going to be off the hands of the receiver. So they went three for three to start it out. And now he's three for six is Lockett. And Charlotte gets the stop they need. First and ten coming up soon for Charlotte. Let's see how kick flip does with this punt. Going to send this one. They're going to hit around the ten. And it's going to roll slowly into the end zone for the touchback. Almost got him pinned there at the one. But it's going to be first and 10 coming up here for Charlotte. It's going to be a handoff to DeAndre Henry. He's going to get around three on the play to start this drive off. Third possession of the day offensively. Looking to take advantage. And off again, DeAndre Henry going to get hit in the backfield for the loss. There goes Mutton busting. Nice tackle there. It's going to be third and 12.
Hendricks left side caught by the Dully Bird juke move. He's gonna move the chains, and that's a nice play there. Made that man miss. I'm surprised he did it, but that was a nice job by the offensive player moving the chains. Four wide off set here, and they're gonna go to DeAndre Henry again. Probably gonna get two, and that's it. Set up second and eight. And off again, DeAndre Henry taking that, going to get around four on the play. And it's going to be third and medium, definitely convertible with the right play. Seven for 14 on the day for DeAndre Henry. They're going to go five wide, so they're going to look for that pass. Watch out for Dustin Johnson. Across the middle and a lot of blue jerseys there. It's going to be fourth and four. And that's going to set up another punt here. Charlotte hasn't quite got the juice offensively to keep this going, but... Outside of that first down, that last drive has been pretty tough. But Huntington Beach is getting this ball back inside the 20. Quaver is going to take this one past the 20, barely. And it's going to be first and 10 coming up here for Huntington Beach. Looking to get this three-point lead to around a six to 10-point lead. A drive here in either of those cases can do it. It's going to be a three-wide-out set. Hand off to Jackson. He stacked up again in the backfield. There goes Oliver Prince. That's another one of those user playmakers doing their thing. And like I always say, you could do that too. All you got to do is show some love, check in, and you got yourself a baller here. Make a player, man. Action Jackson getting a carry there. First and 10. And that's going to be the end of quarter numero uno as Huntington Beach takes the ball past the 30. Let's see what they got for first and 10 to start out the second. It's going to be a handoff to Jackson. Is going to get to a run. Well, actually, it gets back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. It's going to set up second and 10 coming up. Handoff right side. is going to get past the first down. Marker close to midfield. It's going to be first and 10, Huntington Beach. And they're trying to move the chains once again, get even closer to field goal range. Why not? And off again, looking to get past the 50. He does just that. It's going to be second and six after that play. Pitching it again, right side, and a little bit out the reach of the receiver. It's going to be third down coming up. Looking for another conversion. Can they get the job done is the question. And off here, Jackson stacked in the backfield. There goes Christian Rendor on the tackle. Another user player. Like I always say, this could be you, man. What are you waiting on? Get on the field. That's all I'm saying. And it's going to be a punt here for kick flip. And that looks like that's going into the back of the end zone for a touchback. So back onto the fold and looking for some more points. Well, looking for some points. They have not quite got the job done yet, but it's going to be first and 10. They're going to run the ball forward. It's going to be a gain of two to start that uh, start this drive off. Second quarter winding down. Already a quarter out of this quarter. Also known as two minutes, 50 seconds already off. Pass left side. Deli Bird, another nice catch. Going to take this one out of bounds. Avoid the hit and move the chains outside of the 35. Charlotte goes. Royal football. Three for seven on the day for Hendricks. Haven't quite seen the use of Dustin Johnson, but he could come out at any time. Tries to run through a crease and mutton busts and drags him down before he could do anything. A gain of absolutely nothing on that one. Second and ten. Look like Funk there on the bottom of your screen handoff. It's gonna be Henry You're gonna take it and he's gonna get pulled down before he could do anything. That's third and ten coming up here. It's going to be Dustin Johnson down at the bottom of your screen. So if he throws that way, you will know why. Right side, caught by the Deli Bird, makes the first man miss, and he does it again. Three catches, and I think all of them have been for first downs on the play. So great job here for Deli Bird doing his thing. And he's going to keep this drive a moving here for Charlotte. Four wide out set. 
Looking for another man to throw to left side and over the head of that receiver. That's going to be second to 10 coming up. Faking the handoff. Look for a man left side caught by the Baker. He's going to try to drag one of his own teammates and the defender to the um, pass midfield. It's going to be third and four coming up. Looking for the conversion. Faking the handoff there. Looking deep right side in between three defenders and cannot quite get it done. Looked like he, if he waited a little bit and looked to his right, he would have had that first down on that play. But he chose to go aggressive. That's not the time to do it, in my personal opinion. There's going to be Morrison sending this one away. It's going out of bounds. And it looks like it's going inside the 20 there, down at the 18. So Huntington Beach has the ball back once again, looking for some points. Three to nothing here on this ball game. A lot of defensive plays here made on both sides. It's going to be handoff to Jackson. A juke move there. He's going to make another juke move, and I think he is gone. I'm not going to steal Chris Berman's things, but he could go all the way. That's action Jackson. Touchdown, Hanks and Beach, and that's exactly what they needed to break this game open. And now it's a two-possession game in favor of the Voyagers, a.k.a. the Ship Boys. It's going to be kick up, kick good, and that's going to be another uh, touchdown on the season there for action Jackson, who's having a stellar year. He's definitely been... One of our highlight reels, and he's one of the reasons why I love going into these sims because players like him that put in the work, you can make all the plays too. That's all I'm saying. Dustin Johnson gets smacked by two defenders, and the Charlotte football here with four minutes, 10 seconds left. They need to get the offense kick started again. They've been getting some first downs, but they've been getting stopped a few Bad decisions in the passing game hasn't really helped their cause. It's going to be Quintara on the catch again. Three, second and seven coming up. Look for a man. Hit as he throws, and Quintara had to come back for it and gets hit in the backfield. There goes Tato on the tackle, and it's going to be third and 11 coming up here. Huntington Beach's defense turning up a little bit. You see that four wide out set here. It's going to be Henry up the middle, and he's not getting the first down that way. It's going to be fourth and six, and that's another punt force there by Huntington Beach. Morrison sending this one away to around the 24-yard line or so. Quaver's taking that to the left side to get to the 30, actually down at the 29. So here they come once again. Not too long ago, D took that one to the house. They're going to give it to him again right side. He's finding the big crease there in, uh, past the 40, and it's going to be first and 10 on this play. Nice job here overall from Huntington Beach doing their thing. i hit the two-minute warning with that play. It's going to be first and 10 coming up here. You see right there at the bottom right, already over 125 yards. They're going to give him a carry again, and they'll give him another first down on that play. He's just doing what he wants when he wants to. That's going to make it even stronger for Huntington Beach's chance to get some more points. Already moving into Charlotte territory. Going to fake the handoff again, left side, and no dice on that play. It's going to be... First and 10, I'm oh, sorry, second and 10. Going to be passing this one deep in the middle field and caught. That's going to be touchdown. Frederick Kaiser up the middle, right down the seam. And that's going to be 16 to nothing in favor of Huntington Beach. Wow, what a drive there. Kick is up from kick flip. Kick it through the uprights, young man. Point after the touchdown, good. And it's a 17 to nothing ball game in favor of Huntington Beach. Looking to bounce back from that last game. I know that last one hurt, but sometimes you got to go through a little adversity to get where you want to go. We seen last year Huntington Beach lost. Uh, Huntington Beach beat Tacoma in the um, regular season, and they ended up winning it. And they were the favorites, so. If 
Thanks, Ball Suit. You could see them as the team holding up the championship into the final game. You never know. Uh, but we got to see how that works out. Pass left side is good, and it's going to be a gain of around three on the play. Set up second and seven with the remaining one minute, 17 seconds in this one. Pitching it again, right side, and it completes. It's going to be third and seven. Big man was fumbled the football. Who's recovering it? It's going to be first and 10. Huntington Beach are getting the ball, and that's going to be tough breaks there for Charlotte. Can't be giving that ball away. That's going to be giving Huntington Beach another chance to score before halftime. They have a full minute, all three timeouts, right side. It comes back for it. I think that was a touchdown in the making, but he dropped it. He, he saw that end zone. It was like, oh, I got it, but now he dropped it. It's going to be second and 10. Going to take a juke move, still move in, and he's going to take that one out of bounds. And that's going to set up first and goal. Let's see if they can punch it in. Going to be pitching that right side, and it's going to be incomplete. Well, actually, no, it's caught. This is a gain of three. I thought he dropped it for a second, but it's going to be second and goal. 40 seconds left in the second handoff. No, it's a fake. Deep drop back left side and incomplete. Looked like that was close to being intercepted too. But that's going to be another set of downs coming up here. Third and goal. Pitching it again. Lewis Field is going to be picked off by Nate Jackson the second. And that's going to be a turnover there. Charlotte Holt saves space right there. And it's going to see if they can get some points in these next 30 seconds or so. And they're going to try to pass. Looking left side. Caught by the receiver there. That's going to be a gain of two. 20 seconds left here. Pitching it. Left side. Caught first down yardage. And that's probably going to end the first half right there. Solid job all around by both teams, but it's Huntington Beach's time right now, and they're doing their thing. 17 to nothing is the score at the current moment. Not a lot of yards on either side, but as you can see, fairly accurate with both of these passing games. 10 for 17 for Hendricks, 6 for 14, so both of them sporting close to 50 and up in regards to percentage doing their thing. Action Jackson once again leading the way, 13 for 144. And the TD, uh, Squiggly Pills has three tackles, two for a loss, one pass deflection. Deli Bird has been doing his thing. Seems like every catch he does is first down yardage, and it does kind of match up with their uh, with the yards right there. Almost 10 to carry. Nice job. Actually, definitely over 10 to carry. Um, looking for some more in the second half, I'm sure. Fisher with five tackles, two for a loss. Checking it to the team leaders really quick. Go ahead and see what they're doing there. Um, uh, DeAndre Henry, 12 for 20 once again. That's my birthday, so don't forget about me. So sh show your boy some love. 13 for four, 144 on the day, 11 yards a carry. That's just insane. It's going to be Vanilla Megatron uh, with 330, 3 for 36. Frederick Kaiser has a touchdown, 2 for 55. And uh, we had a few other players doing their thing as well. Um, Baker and Quintara also helping out in the receiving end, but they need to go more down the field and get that man Dustin Johnson involved in this game. I don't think his name has been called pretty much all day, but it's going to be um, uh, Dexter Jackson doing his thing with three tackles. So far, that's the only user player I'm seeing here in the team leader section. Um, Jackson the second getting the interception. Uh, Dustin Johnson has three, touch, uh, three tackles for whatever reason. Oliver Prince has three. And uh, same thing for Hensley doing his thing. So going into the team stats, pretty even across the board in total plays. But the yards tells the majority of the story here, 238 to 78. That's pretty much all you really need to see on that one. Both teams has a turnover, no sacks currently. Had a few close calls, but not quite there. So 
We'll go ahead and check into the player stats, see how everyone else is doing. Going to receive an end. Henry has one catch for nine yards. Um, Dustin Johnson has one target at the current moment, and that needs to change there if they need if they want to get some explosiveness. Right now, I see right there, um, one target right there. Um, outside of that, not too much to show for it here. Let's go to the other side. Huntington Beach has Kaiser doing this thing, Megatron doing this thing. Yosef Joseph, uh, surprisingly, only has two cat, uh, two targets, but no catches to show for it. Like the pass was just a little bit off the mark there for him. Nickel Wide Op has not had a target quite yet. And looking for the defensive end, let's check it out. Dexter Jackson once again with three. Billy Bob Booker Thompson, B, 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 T, doing his thing with three. Um, Checking through the rest of the gang here. Let me see if I see anyone I know. Yosef Joseph has a tackle. Uh, Don Fletcher has one. Um, the Dutchman and Sassafras, Sassafras, not doing anything at the current moment. Hasn't really had the targets there. I think uh, the homie on the other side has been avoiding them. So I think that's about it on that side. I think I went over both of them. Let's go ahead and finalize this game. See if Charlotte can get the comeback. They're currently down three possessions, but I'm confident in Charlotte's ability to score in bunches if they could get the right players involved. So let's see how this one gets kick started. Heinz and Beach will start us off with this half. And it's going to be Joseph Joseph taking this one close to the 25. And he does get past it to the 27. So Heinz and Beach has the advantage. And all of the juice. Let's see if they could utilize it and add some more points to this board. I won't be surprised if they get that man in the backfield involved early. They do just that. He's going to get around four on the play. Second and six coming up. Picking the handoff locket caught by Kaiser. There's going to make it a third and short situation here for Huntington Beach. Charlotte could use the uh, defense to get off the field. Three for 59 handoff. He's got to be Jackson. He's stopped. That's going to be Elliott on the tackle. And that's, the, what, that's exactly what the doctor ordered. And it's going to be Charlotte getting this ball back with relative ease. No, not giving up a first down, keeping the time on their side. They still have a chance here. It's going to be down to around the 16-yard line of Zach Holdorf. Gets ran down quickly. And it's going to be a return of around five on that one. First and ten coming up here for Charlotte. Handoff. It's going to be DeAndre Henry taking that for about two on the play. Second and eight coming up. Taking the handoff, looking left side and incomplete, almost picked off. There's going to be third and eight coming up here for Charlotte, looking for the conversion and definitely looking for some points. Cannot afford to give away possessions like this. Is going to be DeAndre Henry left side and smacked by two Huntington Beach defenders. That's going to be fourth and five. Another quick stop here from uh, Huntington Beach's defense. They'll give their offense some more chances to burn through this clock. Morrison sending this one away. It'll be Quavers on the return past the 30, close to the 35. And it's going to be Huntington Beach back onto the field. And off action, Jackson's going to get hit in the backfield immediately. There goes Fisher. Fisher from some yards um, behind the line of scrimmage to tackle the defender, but doesn't quite get that. They'll take the gain of zero, though. Second and 10 as Lockett passes this one again. Right side is open. Caught by D flows. Nice catch. And that's going to be a first down movement there for Nick Lockett in the game. Nice job there. It's going to be a four wide out set here, and he's going to give it to Jackson. He's going to get all those yards right there, right at the first down marker. They're going to move the chains off of one play. First and 10 coming up here for Huntington Beach as they move closer to the 40 on Charlotte territory. 
Another handoff here. Action Jackson going to juke move and get around seven. And Huntington Beach is getting yards and bunches here. It's definitely not what Charlotte needs if they want to get the comeback. As Action Jackson once again is closing in on 200 yards on the, on the game. Lock it left side under pressure, but still gets it off to Vanilla Megatron. Nice play there. And it's going to be first and 10 Huntington Beach at the 30-yard line. It's going to be a carry, but no dice there. Second and 10 coming up here. They're looking for some more yardage here. Charlotte currently doing their thing in the season, but they still need some more juice. They're in the fourth seed at the current moment. Handoff is going to get a first down yardage is Action Jackson down inside the 20 with relative ease. A loss here will get Charlotte to a 2-4 and four record, still keeping them in fourth place. It's going to be handoff. It's going to be inside the 10. And actually, I take that back. The loss here is actually pretty bad here. They're going to move deeper outside of that uh, out of that fourth spot. Actually, out of that third spot, they'll just move in the fourth place. And it's going to be pitching it, middle of the field, incomplete. And it's going to be another set of downs here coming up here, third and four. Can Charlotte get off the field is the question. Best case scenario is the interception, but... Next one down is to stop him. Hand off, and he's going to fall forward, and he's not going to quite get there. It's going to be fourth and one coming up here for Huntington Beach. And they're going to go ahead and settle for that three. Looks like they're trying to get it going from the left hash. Kick flip does what he does. 24 yards is good, and it's another set of uh, points there for Huntington Beach. 20 to nothing is the score, and they're going to keep this one moving. A loss here for Charlotte will make this uh make them pretty much a two um a two game deficit behind Arizona. Actually, you can make that three game deficit since they lost. So even if they did was to tie it, they'll still be in fourth place if they was to uh, further down the line if they was to get the same record. So it's going to be a handoff to Henry. He's going to get to twenty five yard line. And right now, they're shooting to be two and four. If this one keeps going in this direction, Charlotte needs to get their offense moving and quickly. Another hand off. They go fullback this time around and not getting the job done there. Gain of one on the play. And it's going to be third and seven. Going to be quick pitch left side and almost picked off. That pass was just a little bit too low for that defender that was lurking. But it'll take the first, uh, it'll take that uh, punt right here. Um, Huntington Beach getting back off of the field defensively. And let's see where they get it at. Looks like it's around the 25 yard line or so. It's going to be Quavers taking that to the left side, pass at 30. And Huntington Beach is back onto the field. Another touchdown will make this. Uh, Three possession game. Well, actually, make it a four possession game. I take that back. And that's going to be a face mask penalty. It won't be uh, a, a, reg a regular face mask, but it will be a face mask, lose five yards, um, make it second and five coming up. Handoff close to the first down marker, and they're going to give it to him. First and 10 coming up here for the Voyagers. Good job so far in this drive. Third quarter winding down. Will they get the playoff? Yes, they do. Up the middle. He's going to get outside of the 45-yard line, and that is how we're going to end the third. One more set of uh, 10 minutes in this ball game. Charlotte does not have any time to lose. They'll need to make some plays here. Action Jackson. One solid carry away from 200 yards once again is Nick Lockett passing this one. Looking left side, wide open is Frederick Kaiser down the sideline. Is he going to get touched as a question? Yes, he will. Down at the 15-yard line. And one play was all it took in Huntington Beach's in scoring distance. And you see right there, Frederick Kaiser almost at 100 yards on the day. It's going to be Action Jackson falling forward. And he's going to get around to the 13-yard line. A gain of two on that one.
One more good carry there is going to set him off for 200. They're going to go with the pass this time around. Right side looks good. It's going to be nice job by Warren B down to the 10. And it's going to be third and four coming up here. Hand off Jackson. Juke move. 200 yards set. First down set. And you could give him a face mask penalty on top of that down to the one yard line. Huntington Beach is on their movement right now. First and goal handoff, one B inside the end zone. There goes another touchdown, and that's another set of points there for Huntington Beach to make it 26 to nothing, looking to make it 27 on this extra point. Kick up from kick flip right down Broad Street. That's going to be 27 to nothing in favor of Huntington Beach, looking to get to 5-1 and one on the season. And they're already... Seven minutes, 50 seconds away from making that a reality. So, once again, good job overall from Hankton Beach on this side. And it's going to be Dustin Johnson taking this one up the middle of the field, getting to around the 22. Make that the 23-yard line. First and 10 coming up here for Charlotte. Three wide out set here. It's going to be faking the handoff. Nice pick up. Middle of the field. Caught by the Dully Bird. Another catch. Another first down from Delhi Bird. Very consistent in this gameplay from him. He's been doing his thing. And he's had a majority of the yards here. First and 10, Charlotte. It's going to be handoff to De De DeAndre Henry on the carry right side. Gain of three. Set up second and seven. Handoff is going to be DeAndre Henry. He's going to be getting around two on the play. It's going to be third and five coming up. Hendricks passing this one left side. Caught by the Deli Bird. Getting to the 40. Once again, just another consistent catch, uh, catcher right there. Deli Bird's doing his thing. First and 10. You see right there, he's 6 for 8 on the day in regards to the catching side of things. 74 yards total. DeAndre Henry refuses to go to the hole. He's going to take it to the outside and pays for it. A gain of 1 on the play. 18 for 33 on the day. It's going to be another handoff, and he's going backwards. That's going to be Dexter Jackson trying to put the exclamation point on this ball game. Five minutes left in the fourth. And it's not looking too pretty here for Charlotte. Third and 14. They're going to give it to the running back, and he's going to get maybe a couple of those yards back, and that's about it. It's going to be fourth and 12 coming up. And Charlotte's looking for something to go with this. Let's see if they can continue on. Fourth and 12, sending this punt away to the left side, and I don't think he could have done that any better if he tried down to the three yard line. And a nice pin there. Now Huntington Beach has a chance to. Has the whole field to burn some clock. Four minutes left in this ball game. It's going to be Action Jackson up the middle. A crease is found. And he's going to be getting around 15 on the play. You can make that 20 thanks to that uh, penalty there. First and 10 from the 22. Oliver Prince, the culprit. Still not quite over 200 yards thanks to the penalty. But they'll try him again up the field. And there goes 200. Pass the 25, second and three coming up here for the Voyagers. Two oh six on the day. Handoff again. Action Jackson falls forward, falls forward for the first down, and move the chains there. Rocket passing this one. Looking left side, he's got Frederick Kaiser, juke move down at the first down marker, but not quite past it. It's going to be second and inches coming up. And off action, Jackson, first down yardage, juke move, and he's not going to get the touchdown, but they'll surely move the chains as we move closer to the two-minute warning. I think a couple more plays and we'll be right at that mark. 
But at the current moment, Huntington Beach started from the three, and now they're at the 40, keeping the drive moving. Fumbles the football. It's going to be a turnover. Charlotte does get the stop. And there goes Charlotte once again. See if they could get some points on the board. Right now, they've been held scoreless. And they got a four wide out, one tight end set for Hendricks. Looking for a man left side. Tried that a little in and up move, but that didn't work there. Paul Morgan is the culprit for the penalty. And we're going to move backwards here. Two minutes, 16 seconds left in the fourth quarter. It's going to be picked off by Cage the, no that's the, cage the number two. Cage the second. I'm tripping. But that's going to be a nice play there. Huntington Beach will get the ball back, and now they'll have another chance to burn the clock, pin some, add some stats to the board. Action Jackson almost getting the first down there, a gain of nine on the play. And Charles going to call timeout number one. They still have their two-minute warning in their back pocket. So let's see if they can get off the field. Hand off Jackson, hitting the backfield. There goes that man, Elliott. Timeout number two. It's going to be 34 to 36, and I'm going to assume it's going to be 35th carry right here. And the nice blocking on the right side is going to move the chains. And that's going to be first and 10 as they hit the two-minute warning. Charlotte doesn't call their last time out, but they're pretty close to closing this one out. Another first down, and they'll wrap it up. Hand off, Jackson, juke move, another juke move, another juke move. First down, Huntington Beach, and that's timeout number uh that's timeout number three called there for Charlotte. Will they go to more of a traditional set? No, they're still keeping their offense on the field. Over 250, handoff Jackson again, a gain of around nine on the play, and set up second and one. I'm sure they're going to let the clock burn out, let it bleed a little bit, but this should wrap up. The final game of week number six, we are past the halfway mark. And it's all weird to see who's going to be securing their spots in the playoffs. At the current moment, it's 6 and 0 for Tacoma, 5 and 1 for Huntington Beach. It's going to be 4 and 2 for um it's going to be 4 and 2 for the homies over there in Arizona. And then uh Charlotte, they're going to be in the fourth spot with the 2 and 4 record. Under them is going to be uh St. Louis at the sixth spot, and then it's also going to be that uh, that team over there in Oklahoma City. They're at the five, so their one went away from tying the ball game up with Charlotte. So can't wait to see how that goes down. Still plenty of games left to do something. And I'm going to go ahead and get this one wrapped up. Final score will be 27 to nothing in favor of Huntington Beach. So good job there overall. By the Huntington Beach Voyagers, they bit they did bounce back from their their first loss of the season, but they're going to be facing each other again. So maybe Huntington Beach can get that win back, and we'll head into the season with no undefeated, or head into the playoffs with no undefeated. And they're going to go ahead and kneel this one for the last time. Once again, Huntington Beach is the victorious team today. Final score twenty seven to nothing in favor of the Voyagers. Good job overall. 12 for 21 on the day, a touchdown, an interception, 171 on the day. Hendricks, once again, not that great in regards to yards, but still fairly accurate. Could have been worse, I'd say, but definitely need to get that man's Dustin Johnson a lot more involved in that offense. But 38 carries, 264 on the day for Action Jackson doing his thing. One touchdown, and it's going to be an interception here for, uh, for Cage, five tackles. Deli Bird was the receiving threat here. Six catches, 74 yards, nine, ca nine tackles, and three tackles for loss for Fisher. Checking into the team leaders. Uh, yeah, 57% here for Huntington Beach. Um, 52 for Charlotte's quarterback, Hendricks. So, had some drops there, I'm sure. As you can see, one from each of these guys, that could have helped them get over 60. Um, two drops here for Deli Bird. Um, Looking a little bit further down the line, it's going to be Cage, um, Fletcher, Jackson, Tato, and Peels leading the way on the defensive end. Jackson, Harding, Prince, Fisher, and Render were the guys to beat on this side. So 
checking into the team stats real quick. Uh, Huntington Beach had about one third as many plays extra over Charlotte. Good job from them. And the total yard sells the story 432 to 122. No sacks once again on this game here. Two turnovers each side. And we'll go ahead and check about these other players here just to make sure we got all the users right doing their thing. Um, I didn't say anything about the Russian side, but 20 for 31 on the day for DeAndre Henry. Um, let me go ahead and go back to the receiving. Actually, yeah, and Fitzpatrick had that one carry for one yard. That's about it there on the rushing side. Receiving, um, Henry had one for nine. And as you can see, Dustin Johnson only had two targets the whole game. That is going to be bad news bears. Got to make sure that you get your mans involved into the game. Even if they're not going to be successful, got to at least have at least seven to ten targets a day for Dustin Johnson if you want to be one of the greatest. Delhi Bird did get a bulk of the targets, and he did his best. He averaged 12, uh, almost 12 and a half a catch, which is uh, spectacular. But outside of that, no one else had a long over 10, I believe. So that was kind of the big deal. The pass game could not get off the ground. Defensively, Render had seven tackles. Prince had six. Dustin Johnson, he didn't have the catches, but he sure had the tackles in the special team. I'm not mad at you. I mean, he's going to be uh, checking through the rest of them. Justin Johnson, uh, he had two tackles, nothing else there. And uh, Zach Holdorf had one tackle here. Henry also had a tackle. I don't know how, but he did it. And going through, that's about it here. Going into the defensive side for Huntington Beach. Um, at Dexter Jackson had seven. Billy Bob Booker Thompson had four. Fletcher had four. Um, going through the rest of them. Let's see. Quavers, Tom, they're all bots. Yosef Joseph, um, Sass Fast, Sass Rass Fast had one tackle. Um, Kaiser had a tackle. Outside of that, not too much else on the receiving end here. Um, Kaiser had five for 108. Vanilla Megatron had 443. Nick Wideop had one target and drop set target. And Joseph Joseph had two targets but could not get the ball down. So outside of that, I believe we could wrap this one up here. Season, uh, sorry, season. Week six is completed halfway through the season. And they'll be looking forward to getting week number seven out there for you. Look out for us on Thursday for some USFA action. Wednesday coming up, that'll be the CSFA Wednesday and Friday. Our CSFA Thursday and Saturday is uh, USFA. So watch out. Keep a lookout for us. We're going to go ahead and do our thing for you. And this is your boy Stacks of Racks. I'm out of here. Thank you so much for staying patient, staying with us. We're going to go ahead and get you ready for the next set of games. Make sure you head down to the description. Head down and see where we're at. We're going to help you out, get on the field. If you want to make some plays, have some good time with some good people, feel free to hit us down there in the description. Hit to the Discord. Make an account if you haven't, and let's go ahead and chat it up, and let's go ahead and get you on the field. It's your boy, Stax the Rex. I'm out. Stay safe. And let's make these plays, man. Get on the field. Get on the field.